morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We apologize for the delay of the Mass. The assigned priest this morning was not able to come. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days... Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord. As you leave, my Lord, I am the woman who, stu who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed hire themselves for out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. 
He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Please all stand. King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you form from the dust. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the two women in our readings today want to thank the Lord. They want to thank the Lord for the gift that they received. Hannah, in our first reading, for the gift of her son, Samuel, whom she prayed for for a long time. Mary, also in our gospel reading today, thanking the Lord for being chosen to be the mother of the Savior. But the two women also in our readings today teach us what is the best way to thank the Lord. Paano nga ba tayo magpapasalamat sa Diyos? Ang Diyos na mayroon na siyang lahat. Ang Diyos na pinanggalingan ng lahat. Paano nga ba tayo makapagpapasalamat sa Kanya? Sa kapwa natin tao, madaling magpasalamat, madaling makapagbigay ng regalo, tanda ng pagpapasalamat natin. Pero ano ang pinakamagandang pasalamat sa Diyos na pinagmulan na ng lahat ng bagay? The two women in our stories today teach us that the best way to thank the Lord is to bring to Him another person. In the first reading, we hear Hannah thanking the Lord 
together with her offerings. But Hannah brought Samuel to the temple and told the priest that I am bringing Samuel to the Lord. The best way to thank the Lord is to bring another person to Him. And in our Gospel reading today, Mary said, All generations will call me blessed. It means Mary was bringing with her generations of people, bringing them all to the Lord. And we have seen until now Mary bringing all of us back to her son, Jesus. That was the best way for Mary to thank the Lord for the gift of being the mother of the only begotten Son of God to bring generations of people back to the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, if you want to thank the Lord, the best way is to bring another person back to God. I hope that in this Christmas season, we might not only thank one another, but we must thank the Lord like Hannah and Mary by bringing back people back to our God. Amen. Please stand. Following the example of Mary, we praise and thank God the Father, who out of the abundance of His generosity gave us His only Son as our Savior and Redeemer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may, like Mary, listen to the Word of God and spare no effort in spreading it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That mothers may look to Mary as true refuge and source of hope in moments of trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That by giving Mary a place of honor in our lives and in our homes, we may deepen our appreciation of her Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through the intercession of Mary, the poor and the oppressed may be liberated from their condition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may be welcomed into the company of the saints and join Mary in the eternal praise of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message of peace that Mary brings to our troubled world. Give us the help we need each day to be faithful to you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
then. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for Him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of His coming and proclaimed His presence when He came. It is by His gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of the Nativity, so that He may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in His praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when He comes and merit the rewards of the blessed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we come nearer the celebration of Christmas, our schedule here at the Manila Cathedral on December 24, Saturday, our Christmas Eve Mass here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 p.m. to be presided by our beloved Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula. On Sunday, Christmas Day, December 25, our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the morning and 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Cardinal Advincula encourages us to come back to church for Holy Mass. And he reminds us of our obligation to celebrate Mass on Christmas Day and also on New Year's Day. But those who will be attending the Christmas Eve Mass on December 24 will be already fulfilling the obligation on Christmas Day and also the Sunday obligation. So we invite everyone to join us in the celebration of Christmas here at the Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.